Hi, meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk mountain weather and uh, ski conditions. So bring this back because we still got some good snow this week. We'll brush the cobwebs off and talk about this. And we've got Loveland Ski Area here. Uh, they picked up a few inches out of this sort of this initial wave, but then the main low will come through uh, later in the week. Uh, but that's the view from Loveland Ski Area right now. Another place that we'll get snow is Alta. Clouds are increasing right there. It does look like the main low will come through Wednesday and Thursday and spread a decent amount of snow. Alta, Snowbird, probably 10 to 12 inches somewhere in there um, for Little Cottonwood Canyon. All right, so let's jump into the, uh, the analysis here. Radar and satellite. So the initial wave, you can see some of the blue, is uh, hitting Colorado. There's kind of a cold front that moved in there, and then uh, the jet stream is starting to push a little bit of moisture and over the top of the mountains of Colorado. But the main low is actually back here, and that's going to be the main player as we head through the rest of the week. It's really all about what that low will do, and it will slowly move through Utah, and in fact, Wyoming as well, and then into Colorado by the end of the week. So let's look at that, and you can see it on the jet stream pattern. So you've got this main low sitting back here with the dip in the jet stream right there. Now. I'm going to push this ahead in time, and I'm going to stop it right here at 11 o'clock. And notice we're looking at mainly a west to east jet stream right there. So it takes all of that moisture with the low and moves it through Utah, Wyoming, and then into Colorado through the weeks, uh, the weeks end, and then into the weekend. It's gone at that point. But it still looks to me like it could be... Uh, while it may dry out over the weekend, could be, still be a little bit unsettled across the West, even into next week. I mean, look at the look at the jet pattern kind of um, dipping here across the West. You got a little energy coming in from the North, uh, but that's a different forecast for next week. But this will get us into the weekend. Here's a future radar. A little bit of snow in Colorado that continues, and it may flare up just a little bit into Wednesday. So we're not done in Colorado with accumulation. That will continue to be a player. And then notice the arcing fashion of snow. So we talked about the snow in Colorado. And then notice the arcing fashion of the snow back to the west. That's all related to this low coming out of the west. And I was talking about how it's going to move that moisture straight west to east. And uh, so that's Wednesday at 515. You can almost see the spin. This is Thursday at 5 o'clock. Now that low is going to start to steal a lot of the moisture. So it's going to dry up briefly in Colorado and snow Wednesday, Thursday, and probably into Thursday night, tapering off into Friday uh, across the Wasatch of Utah. And that's when most of the snow had already have fallen. Still snowing a little bit up into parts of Wyoming. And then between Thursday and Friday, this low is now located just about here in Colorado. And you can see what it's doing. It's pushing a nice arc of snow over the top of I-70 and north, and even parts of the front range of Colorado. And then that low will start to kind of slide away. The snow gets weaker or lighter by Saturday morning. That's the main event. That's the evolution of the main event across the West. That's why I brought this, this forecast recording back, because this one storm may provide some pretty good skiing through the end of the week across the Intermountain West. What about accumulation numbers? Well, here we go. So by Wednesday at 515, we've added a few more inches across Colorado's I-70 and North. Very little over anywhere else, really. Now, here comes more accumulation. By Thursday morning, we're up to seven at Alta, six Park City. We've added another one or two inches in Colorado, and we've added a couple in Jackson Hole. Now, here comes some more additional accumulation. By Friday morning, we're up to 10 at Alta. I think the number in Jackson is probably conservative. It may be closer to 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 inches by the time all is said and done. But that gives you an idea of what, what, what to look for. Uh, look for. And then uh, by Friday morning, you know, you can see we're up to 6 at Loveland, 11 over Cameron Pass, 5 over Vail. So that's some good skiing in, in April right there. And we've added a few more inches by Saturday morning. So we're looking at great skiing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. Um, these would be the grand totals basically by Saturday morning at the end of this event. And there you go, 9, 10, 11, 12 inches. Uh, front range high peaks of Colorado, Eldora, up to Cameron Pass, Winter Park, Vail, Breck, all of those areas, Loveland Ski Area and Arapahoe Basin. So enjoy it. Maybe I'll do another update uh, tomorrow as we move through this event. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.